everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your BOSU upper body workout. So in this workout, we are going to use your BOSU balance trainer to strengthen and tone and sculpt your entire upper body. So arms, back and core. All you need for this workout is your BOSU balance trainer and a mat. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start with a quick little warm up. Make sure your BOSU is out of the way. We're gonna keep this workout short. So don't worry if you need more of a warm up, you can certainly get it on your own, but we're gonna keep it kind of quick. So just roll through those shoulders, make them bigger to the back, and then take them to the front. Start small, and then make them bigger. And then let's just go arms across, palms down, and then switch that palms up. There we go. And then let's go up and down. Start with this, and then let's add a little hip hinge. Take it back, bring it up. Take it back and up. There we go. And then let's just tap and reach across. So you're stretching your arms across the body. Turn your knees and your hips into it. So we stretch out through the back as well. And then take it over your head. There we go. So we are gonna do all upper body, little bit of bonus core, which we love, but using the BOSU trainer. So you don't need any weights. I do have some BOSU workouts with dumbbells, so I will link it right here if you wanna try it. But this one, we are just using the BOSU trainer. Let's do a few quick rolls through the back and round it up and breathe. And one more. Okay, so shake everything out. We're gonna stay standing. Go ahead and grab your bow. So what I want you to do is flip it over. So the round part is out. And we're gonna start with just those little taps like we did. Just keep it close to your body. So little rotation. So just by holding it, you're gonna feel those arms working, right? So tap, tap. Watch me, we're gonna slow it down. Tap, reach, in. Tap, reach, in. So tap, reach, tap reach you go whatever pace you want you're gonna feel it pretty quickly and if that feels like too much you just keep those taps your arms are working if you want more of a challenge take it out and in out and in i'm feeling that pretty quickly breathe let's go four three two and one good drop it down right in the center and watch me here i'm just going to curl up drop it down so it's a small range of motion. So normally my best bicep curls, I would do dumbbells all the way up. We're just gonna kind of keep it here to here, but don't worry, you're still gonna feel it and we're gonna give you a few options. So up and down, up and down. If you wanna get your heart rate up a little bit more and get a little bit of legs, take those toes out, drop it down, bring it up. So kind of think that you're flipping it from flat to in. So if you're watching it here, Let's go four and breathe. Three, two, one, and relax. It's surprising how much you feel it, right? So then take it here. I just want you to stretch those arms, stretch them to the back, right? Breathe. And then we're gonna keep it here and we're gonna take it to a bent over row. So again, you're gonna hold it on the outside. Think of those moves that we do with the dumbbells where we bring it up here. And we're gonna do the same thing with the BOSU. So we're here, pull it up, drop it down. Pull it up, drop it down. Nice flat back. Again, it's a little tougher with the BOSU for range of motion. So just keep the feet nice and wide. Hinge of the hips, take it out in front of your body, squeeze. Watch my elbows, they're coming right up by my side. Let's go four, squeeze, three, two, one. So watch me here, I'm gonna keep it here, we're gonna add a separate part. So to get a little bit more of our back, think of it like a deadlift. Soft knees, drop it down, drop it down, drop it up, bring it up. Hinge at the hips, drop it low, here and up. Hinge down, here and up. Down, down, there you go. Four, breathe, three, two, last one, 
and relax. Drop it down again, little stretch, right? And breathe and breathe and round it up. Let's grab a quick sip of water. So just a few minutes, we're already feeling that, right? All the way through. One last thing from that standing position. Grab it here, bend your knees to get it. And watch me here, I'm gonna go down and push up. So I'm gonna get a little bit of momentum. My arms are not going super high. Don't feel like you have to go all the way over your head. In fact, I don't want you to do that to arch your back. So it's gonna be basically here to here. So shoulders and back. I'm using a little bit of momentum. Ooh, watch your ceiling. <laughs> you have a low ceiling in a garage like me. And then if you want it, get a little more legs. I know it's not a leg workout, so you don't have to do it. But if you pull those elbows in, you're gonna squeeze that back. Totally fine, stay here. Four, three, two, and one. Drop it down, stretch that back. And let's go ahead and come down to the mat, right? Woo, we felt that, right? So little did you know, you can do all those things with the BOSU amongst many other things. So let's take it. We did a lot of pull with that. Now let's take it to those push muscles. So on your knees or on your toes, it does not matter. Let's start and just find the plank, which yes, it's going to get a lot of core, but just to get a feel for it, we're still keeping that BOSU flipped over. If you want, you can come all the way up. And wherever you are, I just want you to push right hand to left hand. So push and push. So really think about, instead of moving your body, I want you to think that you're pushing right, pushing left. So if you're on your knees, you can do the same thing. Push and push. So it's a little bend of the elbows. Push and push. Yes, your core is working hard. I know, bonus core but I want you to think about the movement being through the arms. Let's go four, three, two, one, and stretch it back, right? Woo, we feel that. As long as we're here and we're, and we're folded over, let's do an actual BOSU push-up. I don't care if you get super deep or if you keep it just a smaller range of motion. I just want you to use the core, use the chest and shoulders, use the arms, and again, knees or toes, doesn't matter. So if you're all the way up on your toes, take it down, bring it up. We'll keep it slow. Knees are fine too. Remember that your core is helping you just as much, if not more, than those arms and chest. Totally fine if you wanna keep it up on the toes, and again, do smaller range of motion. That's okay too. Whatever works best for you. You find your range of motion where you wanna be, engage that core, knees or toes, small or big, working all the way through. Let's go three, and two, and one. Big stretch back, right? Woo, I know, I know. Ah, good, let's go ahead and flip that over, and I want you to come on your side. So we're here. You can be up on knees, or you can be all the way up on the toes or on the feet. I like to cross one over. And then watch me here, this top hand, I'm gonna go down, push up. So even though, again, I'm using my obliques and my core, I want to bend, push and pull, or push through that top arm. Push, down, and push. Let's go four more, four, and breathe three, watch my elbow, two, one more, and relax. Swing that boso around to the other side. You feel that stationary arm as well, right? And also, because this is an all upper body workout, we're gonna feel it. So elbow on top, you can do all this from the knees to top hand, or up on the feet, lower down, bend in that elbow, push up through that top hand, push. So you kind of have to consciously think, because otherwise your obliques are gonna do all the work, right? Your core. But really down, push through the arm. Three, two, one more, and relax. 
bring it up, stretch it out side to side. I know we got a lot of bonus core with this arm workout, right? So let's take it, flip it back over. So we're gonna start this just regular. We're gonna get a little bonus abs and glutes, and you're gonna have the option to add a little push up if you want. But if you can, you're on your knees, take it here, bring it up. Take it here, bring it up. So similar to what we just did from the standing where we're thinking about that row, elbows back. Let's go four, three, squeezing the glutes on the way up, two. If we want, we're gonna add a little push at the top. Watch me, down, up, up, and down. So on this, you might be able to get a little more extension just because it seems to be a little bit easier from the knees, down, up, up. Let's get two more, squeeze, one more, up, up, and relax. Stretch it back, press those shoulders down on top, breathe here. We are almost done. Let's go ahead and flip it over. And let's start on our elbows. Again, one more little plank, but we're gonna add some upper to it. So elbows here, bring it up. And watch me, I'm just gonna push elbow to elbow. So I'm pushing down. My core is working hard, but just like we did when we had it flipped over, I'm also working through the arms. Push, 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 four. Core in tight, pull up and in. Last two, one, and relax. Stretch it back, right? Ooh, breathe, yes. One last thing. We're gonna feel it all the way through that upper body, all the way through the core. So you've probably done it before with just body weight on your elbows. We're coming up, up, down, down, on the squishy side, right? So I'll show you knees first. Totally fine to be here. You're gonna go down elbow, elbow, hand, hand, and then switch. If you were leading left, then lead right. Join me when you're ready. Right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. And then if you can, take it all the way up to the feet. It's gonna make you a little off balance. Work that core, make it harder for the arms. Right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. You know it, it's harder on the BOSU but you are strong, knees or toes, whatever pace works for you. This is your last little finisher in this arm, upper body workout, arms back, and a little bit of core. Let's go four, push. I know they're tired, three, mine two, two, last one, and relax. Stretch it back right here, right? Breathe into it here. There we go. So let's stay here. Open up those shoulders, reach to the back. Let your head drop to one side. So it looks like this. And then other side. Big rolls through the shoulder and then turn into it, hands on top, child's pose, but really push into the ball and push your shoulders down. So we're here, breathe into it. If you can, you can walk the knees back so you can really drop it down. Good. And then come, you can even sit on the BOSU if you want. Take the arm across, drop the shoulder, roll through that wrist. There we go. And breathe. Take it up top. And take it across, roll through. And up top. One big deep breath in and out. 
couple big rolls one more time. If you liked it, make sure that you subscribe and be sure to check out all of my other workouts, BOSU workouts included. Great job, everybody. That was your BOSU upper body workout.